Hello everybody, Steven here. Guess what? It is nighttime and I am doing day 20 at night. This has been a really surreal day. I guess it's been a real surreal day for everybody. Uh, just found out today that the schools are going to be closed here in LA for two weeks. I'm going to be uh, I'm going to be closed as a educator, but as an administrator, I'm going to be able to work from home for a few weeks, and then it's kind of up in the air after that. Everything is moving so fast. But what I'm really grateful for is the people that I work with. Everybody got the information. We got it out quickly and fast. Uh, in a stressful time, people really responded well. So that was very encouraging. So a couple of things I want to talk about today. The first thing I want to talk about is just a little challenge that I decided to do for myself. Number one, I just saw so many posts on social media that just were showing empty shelves. And empty shelves to me create panic and they create uh, instability. And then there's just so much bad news out there. And there was a term that I heard called suffering twice. So basically suffering twice works like this. If you worry about a bad event happening, then you're suffering in your mind. If the bad ha event happens, then you suffer again, twice. So the idea of suffering twice. So why not suffer just once? That means if the bad event happens, just suffer one time. Suffer the bad event. But don't suffer thinking up to the bad event. Planning will help you avoid the bad event. But thinking about a bad event occurring over and over again is not supported by science. In fact, it's not supported by science at all. In fact, negativity is not supported by science. So, let me separate the two. Getting yourself checked out by a doctor, supported by science. Constantly consuming news, constantly allowing negative information to be spinning through your head is not supported by science. That is a choice you are making. So we can make a different choice. So I made a different choice. I decided I'm going to post pictures of full shelves on my Facebook and Instagram feed. Therefore, if someone sees a full shelf, then they may think peace and calm. And that is what I want to produce. Great things that I heard today. NBA players donating their salaries to players, workers of the arenas they're playing at. Good news to hear those sorts of things. There are people who are being healed from the coronavirus. Let's talk about them. There's no need to talk about negative things over and over again. There is no study that shows that continually talking about negative things helps you. Now, there are studies that show that a virus will hurt you and harm you, but there's a difference about thinking about the virus and getting the virus. So, don't think about, let's choose not to be negative. Let's put more positive stories in the news. We can make that choice. Okay, word of the day today. No, quote of the day. Quote of the day from my morning routine that I had today. Our highest priority is to protect our ability to prioritize by Greg McCown. So for me, taking care of my health is a high priority. Spending time with my family is a high priority. So those are the things I'm going to take care of. Second thing in my morning ritual today, I was running a little bit late, so I decided to meditate during my commute. Now, I turned on the app, and there were actually a commute meditation. So I'm driving in LA traffic, but I realized when I started listening to the commute, the meditation wasn't for driving. It was commuting like sitting in a train. But I decided, well, I'm going to do this meditation, but I'm just going to keep my eyes open. And when I followed the meditation and they talked about some of the things that we could do, one of the things that was very encouraging was taking time to listen to the sounds, listening to the clicking of my turn signal, and then listening to the rain falling as it hit my car. When I got to work, I walked around the field at my school and I prayed through Psalm number 20 that I read today. And then I took the time to take the day one event at a time, because that's all we could do is one day at a time. So, one day at a time, morning rituals, post something positive, a full shelf, take care of people, contribute to your communities, be compassionate. In challenging times, you can make a choice to panic, or you can make a choice to show compassion, and you make a choice to do good. Do those things.
All right, this is Steven, 20 days. 20 days in, 20 videos, and guess what I'm going to do this weekend? Yep, I'm going to do a new edition of the Stephen Thompson Experience, the podcast. I'm going to do a new edition of the Stephen Thompson Revolution, where you'll be hearing from the adventures of Aquafunkapus and his misfit heroes. I'm out of here for now. Keep making art. Keep making a difference. Show compassion. Bye-bye.